Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about hockey jerseys. What I did uh, in all my videos until this point, I picked one division, one uh, special jersey like the reverse retro or the actual home or the road jersey. I will link these videos up there in the corner and talked about all the jerseys of that kind of one division. Now I will do something different. I will talk about one franchise and this franchise only. I will dig deep into my collection and show you all the jerseys I have from this franchise. And I will start the series with the franchise I have the most jerseys from, and it is the Buffalo Sabres. And for this, I thought, okay, I wear my Eva Lanzo jersey because everybody who watched Nick's video where he featured my collection already knows what's coming. It's my Toby Rieder jersey. He is from Lanzut, so am I. We are hometown boys together. And yeah, I thought, talk about the team he's currently playing on, I will, I will wear his jersey. So let's get it started. And uh, the first jersey of the Buffalo Sabres I want to show you is uh, not a game jersey, it's a fashion jersey. They had their design, the original design, from uh, 1970 when they came in the league until 1996. Then they rebranded and out came the goat head jersey. And there is my red goat head. It's just a fashion jersey. They never wore that on the ice. But it looks good. Gray, white, black stripe, red main part of the jersey, the black shoulders. This looks quite nice. It's a starter made in Korea, blank on the back with the nice B and the sword as the shoulder logo. It's just a fashion jersey, but it's nice. Goathead series, Buffalo Sabres. The second jersey I want to show you, and we are still with the Goathead, is the black version of that. I got that, like the red one, from uh, private sellers on eBay. The black goat head, I know the goat head is a classic. Many would have loved to see this coming back on the reverse retro. They decided to go somewhere else. We will come to that. Yeah, it's a starter as well. It's basically the same like the red fashion jersey. The striping gray, red, white into the black jersey with the B and the sword going through that logo on the shoulders, of course, the goat head. Yeah, starter, starter jerseys are okay. They are a little bit, yeah, the logo gets a little bit blown up. I'm very careful with that. Black goat head, Buffalo Sabres. He has a red goat head, he has a black. Does he have the white? Of course. And this is, I think, the most beautiful goat head of them all. First of all, it's a CCM. The quality of CCMs is basically much better than starters. If I would find the black goat head in a CCM, I would, and the price is okay, I would surely say, okay, why not? Let's get it and replace the starter one. The logo feels much better on the CCM. It's just more sustainable. The rest of the jersey, yeah, again with the gray, the red, the black, this time going into the white. Looks fantastic. Of course, it also has these B with a sword shoulder logo. I got this one from Classic Vintage Jerseys. They are from Buffalo, and of course, I had to get a Buffalo jersey from them. And not only is this beautiful, it's also my Dominic Hasek. One of the best goaltenders ever played the game. This jersey is done fantastic. Three layers all soon on the number, on the nameplate, the plate itself, and two layers of fabric with making the name. This is a fantastic jersey. I love it. Thank you very much, Classic Vintage Jerseys, Goathead of the Buffalo Sabres. The beautiful Goathead jersey was used for 10 years by the Buffalo Sabres, from 1996 to 2006. And uh, in 2000, after they lost the Stanley Cup Final with this uh, Controversial goal by Brett Hull. I think it was game six against Dallas. Oh, whatever. 
I don't know. Anyway, after they lost in the Stanley Cup final, they decided, okay, let's have an alternate jersey. And they came up with this, the Cross Swords. They used this one from 2000 until the GOAT had retired in 2006. This is very nice. And this was the model they took their reverse retro from, which we will come to. The Cross Swords logo is absolutely beautiful. Screen printed writing of buffalo here. I think the gray stripe and the gray up here, it does not go that well with the red. We will come to that as well when we talk about the reverse retro jersey. It's This one is a coho. I think coho jerseys are basically very good, sustainable, all works perfectly, much better as the stars. And of course this one has as well the goat hat which was their main logo at this time on both shoulders. Beautiful jersey, the cross swords, which was the Buffalo's alternate from uh, 2000 to 2006. Up to now, we did not have any ugly jerseys from Buffalo. This will change now. Everybody who followed hockey back in the 2000s, of course, knows what's coming now. When they rebranded after the 2005-2006 season, they came up with a, with a design they kept only for four years until 2010. It's of course the buffer slug. Yeah, I have both of them. I got uh, the navy one from a private seller here in Germany. The white one I got from a private seller on eBay in California. They're both. Let's start with the white one. It again has the B with the sword logo on the shoulders you already saw in the goat head jerseys. Of course it has it on both shoulders. The buffer slug logo, yeah, I don't know what they thought. I have absolutely no idea. It's ugly, it's just ugly. The arms, the striping, yellow, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white and a little bit of gray, yeah. Striping looks okay. Imagine the goat head on this jersey would have looked much better. This is a CCM, of course, but it's the slug. Mm. The navy one, yeah, basically it's the same. The color is a little bit strange, but this is the way Reebok did the jerseys at this time. And the navy buffer slug is my Ryan Miller. Second best goaltender ever playing for the Sabres, of course, behind Dominic Hasek. It's ugly, isn't it? The buffer slug they used 26 to 2010. After only four years of buffer slug, the Sabres decided, okay, let's do something new. And they went back to their original design. You may have noticed I was not able to show you the original design they used from the 70s until 1996 because I don't have any of these jerseys. They became harder and harder to find. And uh, yeah, they're basically the same as the new jerseys are. And this, this, these two babies, back to the circle logo with the buffalo and the swords. Let's start with this one. This one is the home version with a nice yellow striping, yellow and gray striping on the sleeves. A little bit weird about all Buffalo jerseys until this season that they had the number once again. They had they have the number on the back, of course. They have it on the arms. We will see that shortly, and they also have it here at the front. Way too much information. Luckily, they dropped that with their newest jersey. This, of course, is my twenty-six. It's a uh, Thomas Warnick, the guy from Austria, the number on the arms with this little weird gray part here in the armpits. What's that about? I don't know. Any other case, this jersey is quite nice. Of course, the Reebok with the strange piping they had on all their jerseys are of the second generation. The piping is here on the white one as well, but it's gray, so you can't see it that good. And this, of course, the rope version. 
looks very similar just with the white color uh, not the blue and this is my Ryan Miller we had this guy before we will have him again shortly Reebok version of the Buffalo Sabres the new original design jerseys started in 2010, but in 2013 they decided, okay, let's have another alternate jersey. And this alternate jersey is definitely an ugly one again. It's the, I call it the Superman jersey. Right yellow at the front with the logo, Buffalo word mark, and the black shoulders. And on the back, Ryan Miller again. Yeah. I guess uh, someone might uh, like this player. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, the jersey with the yellow in front and the black, um, sorry, the dark blue here at the back. This looks like a cape. This looks like a Superman with uh, wearing yellow this time with a blue cape, not with the red one. This is what this looks like. This is totally ridiculous. Ah, yeah. Gray stripe running along the sleeves which also end in gray. It's absolutely ugly. I got this one from uh, Full Moon Jerseys and it was the Sabres alternate from 2013 to, let me have a look, 2015. Then they retired it. God bless. 2017 Adidas came around and is now producing all the jerseys for all the NHL teams. The Sabres, of course, also had an Adidas jersey when they came in the league in 2017 and it was this nice little one. This of course has no button so it's not from the uh, first season that's at least from the second season with the jerseys I can't tell which seasons they're, they're from. Either this is from the 1819 or from the 1920 season. One of these two, who knows. It looks good. Navy blue, I like that. The logo remains the same. The buffalo with the red eye. I love the red eye. And the swords, the striping, gray and yellow on the sleeves and here on the bottom. The uh, laces here, which don't do anything with the gray. Buffalo jerseys always must have gray until this point. The yellow in the color, this one blank on the back. Not a successful time for the team, but the jersey was very good. As the Sabres came into the league in 1970, they had a jubilee, of course, to celebrate in 2020. 50 years of Buffalo Sabres in the NHL. And they did it with a special jersey, which was, at the time it came out, pretty rare, to, pretty hard to find. It was pretty rare. Um, meanwhile, it's not that hard to find anymore. And it is this absolute beauty. I got it from uh, Ben H. Sports right when he received the first charge of these jerseys. I had to get one right away. The logo is the same, but this time it's in gold for the golden anniversary 50 season. And I think the camera will pick it up quite good. The structure on the buffalo. The hair on the buffalo. This looks so fantastic. They dropped the red eye. Okay, you don't need that. As a eye catcher, it's the gold, it's the structure. That's fantastic. Here with the neckline, all the logos they used. The original one, the goat head, the crossed swords and the buffer slug. This one blank on the back with this great yellow and navy blue striping on the arms and on the bottom. Fantastic. Great job for the 50th anniversary of the Buffalo Sabres. And the last part of my Sabres collection is, of course, the actual stuff they are wearing. They did not do a rebrand. They only changed the color of their jerseys from the navy blue you just saw. To a royal blue color and it is this one the home jersey which is fantastic i ranked it number one of all home jerseys of the east division this year 
and it definitely deserves that. Could be maybe the only thing I could imagine would be improvable on this jersey is make the color yellow. Take this yellow from the stripe and put it here on the color all the way up and down. This would make it even better. This would make the jersey number one of them all. And once again, the great texture and structure here on the buffalo. This is just amazing. It's fantastic. I absolutely love this jersey. This is the home version. I got it from uh, the team store, One Shop Buffalo. Pre-ordered it right when it came out. It took a while until it came to me, not only because of I'm living in Germany, but also because of I ordered not only the home, I also ordered the away jersey, which came out a little later. Again, this jersey was ranked number one of the road jerseys of the East Division. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, the star here in the back of the neckline, the structure on the buffalo. It's absolutely fantastic. And here we have the red eye back on the home and of course here as well on the away jersey. Blue and yellow stripes. The yellow separating the shoulder from the white. Blank on the back. It's absolutely fantastic. They did such a great job bringing out these great jerseys. I don't know the color, maybe they could have also made the color in yellow, would have looked even better, but even like that, fantastic jersey. The road jersey, actual of the Buffalo Sabres. And of course, it all ends with the reverse retro, is this one. I also rank this number one of all reverse retro jerseys I have of the East Division. Here the contrast of the blue color with the yellow outlining to the white of the jersey, absolutely fantastic. The swords, nothing to complain about that. Here the gray is back, you've noticed that with the new navy blue Adidas jerseys there is no gray. That was the first time Buffalo had no gray in their jersey. Here it's back. Here at the bottom, the one is blank on the back. On the shoulders, of course, it has the goat head, goat heads, too. I love this jersey. It's absolutely fantastic. Taken from the 2000, of course, with the cross swords you've seen before. Buffalo Sabres, and that's all jerseys I could show you. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching this part of my collection of the Buffalo Sabres. I don't know which team I will do next, but uh, I think I have four or five more teams where I can show you a lot of jerseys. We'll do these first. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.